What is up guys, ZD here back with another video and today we have got episode number 21 of the quest to complete the entire Xbox 360 collection. So before we get into it, I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy during these times in the spring. We've got 11 more games, let's dive on in. Okay, so as you can see, we are up to 238, which is absolutely crazy. Um, there's so many, so many games in the Xbox 360 game library. So here we go. The first one we've got is Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2009. I found that complete case and manual in really good condition. Um, these are fabulous games if you haven't played any Cabela games. Um, they are a little bit on the short print side, so some of them can be a little bit tougher to find, especially in good condition. But it's fun to play these games. I played some of these at the arcade level at various times when I was a kid. And to play these on the console is pretty good. Works really well with the controller. Uh, the next one here is Dead Space. I actually have not played Dead Space. I've heard amazing things. Um, I found this one complete as well with manual. Let me know if you have played Dead Space. I have to get to that one. Um, and then we have a couple of sports titles here. So we've got MLB 2K8 is the next one. Jose Reyes on the cover. So definitely a bit of a throwback. It's crazy that this is from 12 years ago already. Uh, I've definitely mentioned it on this channel. I definitely miss having a baseball game on the Xbox 360. These were great. The 2K8, 9, 10, 11 games were fantastic. I know they were a little buggy toward the tail end of the 360's life, but uh, these were great. I really enjoyed. Got a lot of hours of playtime on MLB. Uh, the next one then, uh, Reggie Bush on the cover, it looks like. NCAA Football 2007. Uh, right now, 13 and 14 are really hot commodities. Uh, they obviously have not made an NCAA game since 2014 um, with just a lot of the right stuff going on. So um, this is amazing. I, I know people are itching for a college football game, and I'll be so interested to see if we get one in the future. Let me know if you guys love the NCAA series like I do. The next one's FIFA 14. I actually have not played a FIFA since the Xbox 360, believe it or not, uh, just because I play so many other sports games. Um, this is such a wonderful franchise. EA does a really nice job with this. Uh, so there is FIFA 14. Uh, and then the next one here is a really nice find. Family Feud 2012 Edition. Believe it or not, this is a little bit more of an expensive game. So it was a really, really good find. This is a fun one too. If you guys, especially in quarantine with family, this is really good. You play this with the um, Xbox 360 Connect. And it does a really good job with the voiceovers and the hand controls. It was really well made. It's it's pretty fun. I, I didn't think it would be as good as it was. So there's Family Feud 2012 edition. I don't know, again, if it's a short print game, but it definitely is a little bit more on the expensive side for resale value. So I was able to get that in a lot, which helped. Um, this next one then is Dragon's Dogma. I have not played this at all. This actually I found in a lot and it was completely sealed. So it is brand new, which is pretty cool, but I have not played this. Let me know what you guys think if I should play that one. The next one, I have not played either. Soul Calibur 5. Looks like this has some really cool art. I know people who have played the Soul Calibur series. Um, looks really cool. I, I just have not been able to get to this game. So let me know if you played that one. I found that in great condition. Complete in manual like I'm trying to with all of these games. Um, this next one is a Ubisoft game. South Park, The Stick of the Truth. This is a, is a very popular game. Um, again, I don't know copy count, but I know this probably sold pretty well. I know it's very popular. Uh, awesome, awesome game. Funny show as well. Um, this next one here is uh, Lunchable Libre Heroes. I, I have, I'm not sure if I even pronounced that right, but it looks like it is some sort of a wrestling game. I actually have never heard of this game, guys, until I found it. So do let me know if you have played this. Um, it looks pretty cool, but I just, like I said, I have not played it. I found it in a lot. It was in really good condition. It actually has a really cool back cover, as you can see. It's got some gold with some of the characters, which is pretty neat. So good find. I have never heard of this game, so let me know what you guys think. Um, and this last one here is a really cool series, too. The World Series of Poker Tournament of Champions, the 2007 edition. Another Activision game. Uh, these are made really well. I actually really did enjoy these. Um, as you can see, some of the graphics are actually pretty good on here. I... I actually, when I first played these, I thought it would be a lot more simpler, but they actually go into a lot greater detail than I thought. So there's the World Series of Poker 2007. Nice game if you have not played that one. So there it is, guys. 11 more games added in. We are up to 238, which is absolutely crazy. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you've played any of these, if you're looking to play some of these, 
Again, I love this game library that the 360 had. Um, there's over a thousand games, which I'm trying to find all of them. If you have any tips for me on where to find some, again, I'm trying to find them in good condition, full complete with manuals. Uh, I'm going to continue looking around. So thank you guys so much for the support lately. It's been really unbelievable on the channel. If you haven't already, please do sub. Please take a look at the other 20 episodes. It's definitely been a long journey, but like I said, uh, here's another 11, guys. So thank you so much for the support. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. And as always... I'll see you in the next one.